the truth. Talks between North and South Korea. The North agreeing to send athletes and a high-level delegation to next month's Winter Olympics in South Korea. Will Ripley is live near the Korean DMC. Will, high-level delegation, uh, could that in any stretch of the imagination mean the leader, Kim Jong-un? Uh, no, it, that's very unlikely uh, to happen because uh, to get Kim Jong-un to South Korea is a whole other matter, something that would likely happen uh, way down the road if there were ever a presidential summit between President Moon Jae-in and Kim Jong-un. But what you are going to see are athletes, uh, a cheering squad, a taekwondo uh, demonstration group, a performing arts corps, uh, a visitors group, and even North Korea sending its own press corps to cover the Olympics. So a sizable delegation. Uh, there have been four rounds of talks today. The fourth and final round is actually underway right now, just a few minutes from where we are here near the demilitarized zone that separates the North and the South. And if you think about this, it's pretty remarkable what has transpired here. 24 hours ago, very few people would have guessed that in the span of just one day of discussions, North Korea would agree to send this delegation to the Olympics. They would uh, float around the idea of possibly uh, restarting the family reunions, the divided families on the Korean Peninsula. That could happen as soon as next month. And they reactivated a long dormant military hotline. Uh, all of this seems to indicate that North Korea came to the table ready to make a deal. And in the short term, it's certainly a win for them and a win for South Korea, which hopefully will get the peaceful Olympics that they're hoping for without any North Korean provocation, such as a ballistic missile launch or a nuclear test. But what's really important to keep in mind here is what's going to happen after the Olympics, because just today, North Korean state media put out an article saying that the United States needs to accept uh, North Korea as a full-fledged nuclear power or face ruin. So despite all these warm and fuzzies, the nuclear issue persists, and it's not going to change anytime soon, given the rhetoric from North Korea despite these talks today. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight M's in my bank.